Good morning everyone and welcome back to another Socialites Quilt Along. And this was created by the Fat Quarter Shop. Dot com and I have the link in the description below if you'd like to quilt along with me. In today's video we are going to be working on block 21 which is called the Zest Block designed by Bridget Heitland and the first thing we're going to do is make sure you have all of your fabrics cut out. As you can see right here, I'm doing the six inch block. You can do the three inch or the nine inch as well. So for the background colors in the six inch block, I have 12 one and a half inch squares is labeled A and B. In the background fabric, I have 16 one and a half inch squares. And then for the printed fabrics, I have labeled C, eight one and a half by two and a half inch rectangles. For D, I have eight one and a half inch squares. C printed fabrics, this will be for the flying geese units that we will do because we're going to have to do eight and that's going to be our first thing that we will be doing. All right guys, grab your rotary cutter and a straight edge and let's get quilting. Okay, I have my background fabric labeled B. These are the 16 one and a half inch squares. And I have in my printed fabric, eight one and a half inch by two and a half inch rectangles. And we are gonna be doing the eight flying geese units. Take your printed fabric and take two of your background fabrics. And what you're gonna do is place them on each end. And you'll wanna also, I forgot to let you know, you will need to take a fabric pencil or just a regular pencil is fine as well. Take a straight edge and draw on your 16 pieces of background fabric a line from corner to corner just like this so then when you take this over to your sewing machine you're gonna sew along the diagonal line and when you're finished this you're gonna cut a quarter inch seam and you are going to iron it open and it should look something like this and then with your other piece after you're done this you'll do the same on this side and then you'll draw you'll have your line already drawn and then you'll sew on the line and then cut a quarter inch seam, iron it open, and you'll have your first flying geese unit. I will be back. I'll show you what the flying geese unit looks like. All right, so once you're done your flying geese, well, the one side, which I've done here, I'm just showing you, I accidentally cut off the edge, the quarter inch seam, but basically you just sew from corner to corner because this is what your, well, it would look more like a rectangle on this side. And then you place your other background fabric here, just like this, sew it, and you should get units like this. And I have ironed open my seams for the flying geese units. I have seven here, I just need to sew the last one. And you should have eight units like that. Once you're done your eight flying geese units, you are going to now do the center of the block and I'll show you what you need. You'll need your pile of fabric A and D. The first unit you'll need to make is you'll take fabric A and a piece of fabric D and you're gonna do this. And it's gonna look like a checkerboard in my opinion. That's the way it's gonna be laid out. And what you'll do is you will do right sides together like this. So quarter inch seam here and here. And then once that's done, you're gonna iron it open. You can either iron open your seam fully, or if you would like, you can just iron open to the dark side, the dark piece of fabric, whatever your printed fabric is. And once that's done, you'll sew those two units together like this, and then let's pretend these two are separate units. You'll put them right sides together like this, 
and then sew a quarter inch seam and then what you do is you iron it open like that and then you should make two units like this and when you're done that I'll show you the next unit you'll need to make. Your next unit you're gonna take fabric A and D again and this time you're gonna start with D sorry that's upside down D and then the background fabric and then another D and then the background fabric and you're gonna do the same thing that you did for the first row and you should get a row that looks like this so printed background printed background and you'll need two of these once you're done I will show you the next step now that you have your two units sewn together the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take the top row and the middle row right underneath it just like this and then you're gonna place it right sides together you're just gonna nest your seams I don't know if you can see that but I've nested my seams here and here and it's up to you you can pin those seams so that seams intersect nicely and they come out pretty good and here you'll get a unit that looks like this so you're gonna do the first two top rows and then the second two rows you're gonna do the exact same thing so you have two units like this and when you have those I will show you what you need to do now that you have your two units you can see what I was talking about earlier it reminded me of a checkerboard so then you're just going to basically take your top unit and your bottom unit and right sides together match up those seams again and nest them as best you can and you're going to sew a quarter inch seam iron the seams open and when you're done i will show you the next step now that you have your center unit finished the next thing we're gonna do is lay out the block and what you'll need is the rest of your background fabric units your flying geese unit and the center unit and i will show you how to lay this out you're gonna take your flying geese units and place them like this all the way around your center block your four leftover background fabrics you're going to put in each corner i would do the top row and the bottom row sew these flying geese together like this and then add on your corners so do quarter inch seam and then these two flying geese on each side do the same thing once you're done sewing these together then iron them open and then add on your two corners and you'll have your bottom and your top row and then you'll have these two flying geese here on each side and when you're done that I will show you next so I have the top and the bottom sewn together and I sewed these two flying geese units together for the center the next thing you're gonna do is you are gonna put these right sides together and sew these two units on each end of the center unit when you're done I'll show you the next step. Now you have your center unit sewn together with your two flying geese units. Next thing you're going to do is take the top row, pin at your seam intersection as well as the bottom row right sides together and do the exact same thing. Sew a quarter inch seam on each end, iron it open and you'll have your finished block. When I return I will show you the finished block. And here we go. This is the finished zest block designed by Bridget Heitland from the Fat Quarter Shop Socialites Quilt Along. In next week's Socialites Quilt Along block, we are doing number 22, the blessed block designed by Melissa Gortez. For the six inch block, you'll need in the background fabric two two and a half inch squares two two inch by three and a half inch rectangles two two inch squares and two or oh, four 
my apologies, you will need four two inch squares. In your printed fabric, you will need two two and a half inch squares, two two inch by three and a half inch rectangles, two two inch squares, and four two inch squares in the printed fabric. So please join me next week in the Socialites Quilt Along. I hope everyone has a wonderful quilt day. Thank you so much for joining me. I'll see you next week. Bye.